Hey everyone, it's Miss Callie. I just want to wish all of our grandparents a happy Grandparents Day. Um, today I'm going to be reading Grandpa and Bo. The reason I chose this book is because my grandpa is one of my best buddies and I have a little cousin named Bo. So here we go. Bo was staying with his grandpa for the summer. It was the only time they saw each other all year, except for every other Christmas. Bo lived in the city. Grandpa lived in the country, hundreds of miles away. There's Bo and his grandpa. They were together all day. They played ball and worked in the garden. They cooked dinner on the grill and ate outside. They listened to Grandpa's old records on the stereo and they made things. A basket woven of willow switches for Bo's mother and a statue of a lion carved from soap for Bo's father. So Bo and his grandpa like to make things. And they are playing ball. They took long walks through the cornfield behind grandpa's house. Or short walks if Bo's or grandpa's legs grew tired. They are walking through the cornfield. Bo's favorite place was under the big tree that shaded the west end of the house. Sitting there, Grandpa told stories. So did Bo. Grandpa told about when he was a soldier, or about when he was just a boy on Bo's great-grandfather's farm. Bo told about when he was just a baby, too little to come to Grandpa's alone. Beneath the tree, Grandpa taught Bo the names of things. Birds, flowers, and grasses. What's that? asked Bo, pointing to a thin green bug. That's a praying mantis, answered Grandpa. But we can call him Ralph. Grandpa laughed, and so did Bo. Sometimes they fished under the tree. When Bo caught three little ones, Grandpa said, Those are bluegills, but we can call them Tiny, Herb, and Leonard. But after they named them, Bo didn't want to eat them. So they threw them back into the lake and had hot dogs for lunch instead. I always love to fish with my grandpa. Weeks passed. Grandpa taught Bo what algae and garter snakes and gladolas were. They made faces at the cows in the neighbor's field. They sat under the tree watching the branches swish in the wind while the sun melted into the lake. And they stared at the night sky, waiting for a shooting star because Bo had never seen one. There they are in the field. What about our tree? asked Bo one day. What's his name? He's an evergreen, answered Grandpa. Mr. Douglas Fur, but we can call him Doug for short. Grandpa laughed, and so did Bo. I would 
was just thinking, Grandpa, said Bo, looking up at Doug. I only see you every other Christmas, and you stayed at our house last Christmas. Is that so? said Grandpa. Then we'll just have to see what we can do about that. The next morning, Grandpa showed Bo how to string popcorn and berries using a needle and thread. They hung the popcorn and berries on Doug's low-hanging branches using a ladder. It's for all our birds to eat, said Grandpa. It's for Goldie, the finch, Alice, the robin, and Herman, the sparrow. Doug almost looks like a Christmas tree, said Bo. I know, said Grandpa. So do you think they're going to have Christmas in the summer? Grandpa put Christmas carols on the stereo, and they had turkey and dressing for dinner that night. Merry Christmas, Bo, said Grandpa. Merry Christmas, Grandpa, said Bo. Is this your first summer Christmas, too? As far as I can remember, said Grandpa, and there's no one I'd rather have it with. The corn grew. It was up to Bo's ankles when he came to Grandpa's. Now they had eaten some of the corn, and the stalks were so tall that Grandpa and Bo got lost on one of their walks. The nights were cooler now, and Bo still hadn't seen a shooting star. The night before he was to leave, Bo had a hard time sleeping. He got out of bed to look for Grandma. Bo found him under Doug. The bed bugs biting? asked Grandpa. Why don't you sit by me? So Bo stayed with Grandpa resting against his shoulder in the chilly night air. All of a sudden, Grandpa shouted, Look! Bo saw, saw a large bright star streaking across the sky. Make a wish, said Grandpa. I already did, said Bo. What did you wish? You're not supposed to tell, said Grandpa. I bet I know, said Bo. I bet you do, said Grandpa. And you know what else? I bet. My wish and yours are exactly the same. And they were.